about here this morning others of you there are many doors marked hope and they're openable and many of you you saw this one door with hope on it and it says restricted no access but all these other doors all saying hope as well and you're like well forget that door I'm gonna go through this door only to get through the door and into that room to find it was really empty it was an empty hope there was nothing there nothing to help you nothing to sustain you one door restricted that you gave up on many doors that you have tried but once you walk through that door that was easily openable there's nothing there this door that's restricted that, that, that that's locked There's no key to unlock this door. There's no code to unlock this door. There's no facial recognition to unlock this door. There's only one way by which this restricted door can be opened, and it's the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Who shed his blood on the cross. He gave his life and he paid the penalty for our sin, the sin of all of mankind. Jesus paid the penalty for our sin because not one of us could pay it on our own. And the only way that the restricted door can be open is to receive the blood of Jesus Christ. And we receive it by putting our faith in the work that Christ did on the cross for us on our behalf. It's the only way to walk through this restricted access door. But let me tell you, my brother, and let me tell you, sister, once you've received the blood of Jesus Christ and that door has been deactivated and you can open it and you can walk through it, what you find there is unlimited discoveries. New things that you will find every day as you open up the Word of God, as you begin to seek the face of God, He will begin to show you things that will bring peace to your soul. Things that you've been looking for, searching for, trying to discover on your own, but it's, it's all the empty rooms. But just by putting your faith upon the Lord Jesus Christ, that door, that gate will be open to you. And he will lead you on an adventure of discovering genuine true peace like you've never known it in your life. Maybe you're listening online and maybe you're here today. I've already said many of you have gained access to that door, but some of you haven't. And this morning, God's Spirit led you here today to hear this message because he desires to give all who want access to that room access. You just need to put your faith in Jesus Christ. There's no other way that one can be saved or find this hope or peace or even joy except through Jesus Christ. If you're here this morning, you say, Pastor Tim, I need in that room. I need hope. I don't have hope in my heart. I look at the crises in the world around me every single day. I hear something else where it used to be just something going on over here or something going on over there. Now it's something going on everywhere all the time. And it's a heavy weight for me to try to consider. I need some peace and hope in my life. Listen, there's a room that will access it for you. 
and it's unlocked through Jesus Christ. It won't make all those things go away. But the Bible, when you go through that room and, and you begin to learn about the peace of God and the hope of God, it's a hope and peace that surpasses our natural understanding. That even in the midst of all the toils and chaos of life, we can still be in perfect peace. Verse one, and we can gain great hope. Verse two, if you're here today and you say, Pastor Tim, I need that peace and hope this morning. Would you just raise your hand up high and let me know, Pastor Tim, I need that peace and hope. Thank you, thank you. Is there anyone else? Thank you. Is there anyone else? You need that peace and hope. Thank you. Is there anyone else in this room? Thank you. Listen, thank you. I can't see if you're listening online, but God sees that hand. And we're going to pray a prayer. I'm going to ask everyone to stand as we get ready to close our service this morning. I'm going to, I'm going to ask you to repeat this prayer after me. There's no magic in the prayer. And by you raising your hand, you've already gained access to that door. God saw you raise that hand. He saw you say, I will put my faith in Jesus Christ. I don't know what all of that means, but I'm going to put my faith in the work that Christ did for me on the cross. I'm going to believe and I'll figure it out as he leads me forward from here. Listen, we're going to pray a prayer. Romans 10, verse 9 and 10 says, If you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord and that he died on the cross and that God raised him from the dead, proving that he was the Son of God and accomplished what he said he came to accomplish. If you will believe that and confess that by faith this morning, this door, restricted door, will be unlocked for you, free of charge. Why? Because Jesus paid the price for you. It wasn't free on his behalf. It's free on our behalf. It's gifted to us. Unmerited grace. We don't deserve it, but he loves to give it to those who will believe. So let's pray this prayer out loud this morning. Ready? Dear Lord God, I am a sinner and I have no hope and I have no peace, but I long for this hope and peace. This morning, I confess and believe in my heart that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that he died on the cross paying the penalties for my sin and that God the Father rose him from the dead proving he was the Son of God proving he accomplished what he came to accomplish I put my faith in Jesus and this morning I confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life and I receive his forgiveness in Jesus' name. Can we give the Lord a hand clap this morning? If you prayed that prayer for the very first time, or maybe it was a long time ago and you rededicated your life to the Lord today, there's a QR code coming up on your screen. It's also on the back of the seat, backs in front of you. If you would point your phone at that, a little, a little, a, a little, a form will come up for you to fill out. It'll take you 30 seconds, okay? Fill it out. We want to connect with you, congratulate you, pray with you, and be able to give you some literature or answer any questions that you may have because God wants you to get to know him from here on out and to learn to walk in that peace each and every day. When you turn on that news tomorrow and you perhaps hear of yet another tragedy, he wants you to know how to walk in that peace each and every day. And so we wanna help you get started in getting to know him through his word. So please fill out that card and we will reach out to you this week. Friends, you are loved. 46 people prayed for you on a prayer call this morning that you would come hungry for the Word of God and be filled up by the Word of God and that you would leave here with the peace and hope and joy of the Lord this morning. I hope that you leave with that. Amen? And if you want to join us on that prayer call, it is a prayer challenge. And we were hoping for 30 days or 90 days, but you can join anytime. It's at 6 a.m. for 30 minutes every single morning, all right? So you can go to our website at libertychurches.org, and you can get the sign-up sheet, sign up, join us tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. We hope to see you there. Love you. Come on, let's sing this chorus before we go. It is well. Let's sing it out loud.